Hello, this is Mark Young with XLM Solutions, and today I'm going to demonstrate how we can use 3D Experience in conjunction with their business process management solution by Interop, the company they just acquired, for engineering change and release processes. We will be running through this workflow process within the uh, business process management Interop system inside 3D Experience. We will start off by having a trigger initiate the process upon a promote of a document from in work to frozen. These first two tasks will automatically take that object and assign it to the process. We'll then go to a human task to analyze the document being attached and update information about it. This person can then decide whether to decline or reject it or promote it. It will then go to the CCB node, which is controlled by a group. A user in the group can then take the task, review all the data, and make a decision. They can either put it on hold and have that task wait while additional information is being acquired. It can decline the um, task, which would then demote the document back to in work, or it could move it on to the execute task. Again here, a user would review all the data and make a decision whether to reject the task back to the analyze node or confirm the task and eventually release the document. It should be noted as this demonstration is done on a document object in 3D experience, the same behaviors can apply to physical products, drawings, and other object types within the 3D experience environment. So let's see this workflow in process. I will start by uploading my document into 3D experience. Go browse to my document. Upload it. Give it a name and some other information. In this case, we're uploading a test specification. And hit upload. The document has been uploaded. We can view it. We can view, view the document. So if I go to my document and I perform a maturity change to frozen, this will automatically kick off a interop business process for review and approval of the document. So now that it was automatically switched to frozen, let's switch to interop. I am in interop and I'm going to wait for my new process. To note, the process is automatically triggered based on a trigger I created in the interop process design tool. So in my case, I have a trigger that will trigger the process upon promoting the document to frozen. We will go back and wait for the tr process to show up. So let's refresh and see if we got a new process. I did. I can click on it and see I have now various information. The process now has been created and it has automatically linked my document to the process. I also have information to fill out such as description and I made this a rich text field. And fill in some other information on it.
I can also open this up and view it. And make sure that everything looks correct. Zoom in, zoom out as necessary to read the process. It should be noted, if I go back into document management and I try to automatically promote this process without going through the BPM workflow, I'm not allowed to do that. So if I try to promote this to release, it blocks me from doing it as it is locked from interop. So if I go back to pl business play, I filled in all my information. At this time, I can send it to the next task in the process or reject it. So I'm going to send it to the next task and click finish. We see that because I'm assigned to all users in this task, I get it. Actually, for this task, the CCB node it is sent to a group that I'm a member of. We also see that we get an email of the task. So if I were to open up the email, you can see that I automatically get my email. It gives me some information of what I'm going to review. And then I could directly open it up from here if I wanted to as well. So we go back to our process. Um, Again, we see all the information related to it. We can, again, open up the document. We see the document's name, revision, and description. i do not not going to look at it here, but I'm going to look at it um, later. We can then accept, put it on hold, or reject it based on my condition. So I'm going to accept it again and click Finish Task. We now go to the Execute Task. And again, we can look at the various information. I'm going to open this up in 3D Play. And for the ex executor that's looking at this, we're going to realize that there's some issues with it. So we can look at this some more. And in this case, I'm going to redline it and say that there are some issues here. It's missing notes. So I can save my red lines. In this case, I'll do it as a screenshot and, and save them to a... Uh, download folder. I can now go back to my process and instead of accepting it, move it to reject. In this case, I need to put in a reason why it was rejected. And hit OK. I will go to upload the uh, red line screenshot. And then attach it to my process. I'm rejecting it and click finish. It now goes back to the analyze node. So I can click on that. I see again the information i see the reason for rejection and i can either view as a screenshot um, the image and see what i need to do to make my changes so now i have a choice of what i need to do i realize i need to make a change to it so i am so now i'm going to reject the process And if we go back to document management, we can see that the process will have moved from frozen back into work for me to work on it. 
So we'll wait and refresh the screen for this to happen. And we can see that the process has, or the document, I should say, has automatically moved back to in work. In this case, I want to make a change. So I'm going to actually revise the document and click New Revision and click Revise. In this case, it's going to create a new revision of the document for me. As you can see right here, it moved from revision zero to revision one. I will now go and make a change to my document. And to do that, I will edit it, which will download it. I can then open it and it locks it. And now make my change. Save the file. I can now re-upload and check the file or remove the lock status on revision one. So I'll update, pick the file, and have it update in 3D experience. And the file gets uploaded and the lock is promoted. So now I will again promote this to Frozen, which will automatically kick off my process to release this document. So let's go back to Business Process Play, and we'll wait for the new process again to show up. So we'll do a refresh to check for a new process. We can also see that we got an email of the process. As we can see now, the email now is reflecting revision one of the document. So again, I can open this up with 3D Play. And I can see that the document is now uploaded with the correct notes added to it. Going back to Business Play, we can again fill in our information. And send it to the next approval cycle. We see it goes to the next cycle. We can see all the related information. And again, we can accept, hold, or reject. We will accept it again. Click Finish. It now goes to Execute, the last cycle. Again, we can review all the information, view the document. Do our final approval. Uh, Final review of the document. See that everything is good to our needs. Go back to 3D Play. Before we accept this, though, I want to go to the document back to the document management app, and we see that the document's in the frozen state. Again, I want to show that if I try to promote this to release, it's going to block me. It's not allowing me to do it through 3D experience. Though if we go back to play and I click accept and finish, it completes the task, it completes the complete process. And if we go back now here, do a refresh, we can see that our document now has automatically through the process been promoted to release. We can now just go back and see the history of our process the various steps it went through, and see the completed process with all the other information about the process, the time it took to finish it, the time it took at each step. Thank you very much for watching this presentation 
on engineering change and release processes within 3D Experience using their business process management applications. For additional information, please reach out to me per the contact information on the screen. I'd be happy to share how we can configure such a workflow to perform all the various functionality you saw in this video. Thank you very much.